Hello and welcome to a producer's life in Uganda. I today I'm going to make some bread. Now I don't have strong white flour or I did have bread flour and I made um, one with that but I've run out of um, strong flour so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some plain flour and see what that does. Okay, what does it do? So I'm going to put 350 ml of lukewarm water into the bread maker. And I got this bread maker for three pounds. Yes, darling. Oh dear. So the water, as you can see, is in there. You can take this out and just put the ingredients in and then just put it back in. So let me push this back. Yes, darling? Get the fire. Which fire? I'm going to take this out like this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil. If I was doing pizza, I'd do uh, virgin oil, but I've just put, I think this is just vegetable oil. Whatever oil you have available to you. So now we're going to pour the flour in. So we need we need 500. Oh, Hi. can you press that for me? Oh, press the on button. There we go. Number back. 500 grams. Oh, Mariah, can you look at the number? Look at the number. Tell me when it gets to 500. Can you tell me when it gets to 500? Yeah. Is it there yet? No. Oh, it's gone past 500, no, Naraya. My hand in. <laughs> Don't put your hand in yet, no. no. Why? Yeah. So, five. Mommy. We're going to reduce that until it's 500, okay? Your hand does. Yep. <laughs> there or thereabouts, 500. Yeah, yeah. Yep. A flower. Yeah. We're going to put that into here. Sprinkle that in. And here we go. Ooh. Okay, so we just get the spoon and then we just shake. Well done, good shaking. Again, shake. Oops, <laughs> again, keep on shaking until all the flour is in. Okay, so we're just going to put the yeast in the middle there. That's one sachet, which is a seven grams. Mummy. That's yeast. That's called yeast. And then we also need to put... Where's my measuring? Can I use the bowl? No, no, we don't need to mix this one. The, the machine... Okay, you do it. One teaspoon of sugar on, in one corner. Okay. And then one teaspoon of salt or less in the other. And then salt in the other corner over there. In the yeah. sugar corner, yeah. in the salt corner. Yeah. And then yeah. that's it. Yeah. It's off, yes. That's it. <coughs> it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this into the bread machine. Pop this in. Put it. Try and get it so that it's um is posi positioned properly. Oh. Just a matter. Need to make sure it goes down. Otherwise, it won't work. Trying to use one hand here. So let me. Okay, now it's in, secured under these hooks. I'm going to close it and I am going to move it forward a bit so that you can see. Hopefully, before the thing turns up. There we go. So we've got the start. Your jumper's dirty, it's got flour. Oh dear, don't worry. So we're going to go on the menu. 
Oh, we want the turbo. We want turbo, we want the fast one. We're going to see what type of crust we want. We want the first type of crust, the thin crust. Then size, we want the large size. So then we press start. Can you press this button for me? Yeah. The green one. Yeah. Well done. And now it started. And now we just leave it. Now this seems to suggest that it's going to be two hours and nine minutes. Not really a fast version, but I wonder whether the basic one, I wonder how long the basic one takes. Let me just cancel that. Can I, can I cancel it? All right, let me see what number one tells me. Mommy. Yeah. Oh, three. Okay, right now we want two. Okay, that's two. And we've got that crust, we want that crust, and then we want that size. Oh, sorry, darling. That says uh, 1.25 kg. All right, and then we start it again, and then leave it. I'm showing you what's happening in there. The paddle is mixing, trying to pick up all the bits. And that's what look, the process, that's what it looks like in a bread maker. Yes, my love. Oh, I don't have any. Because I didn't want any. So there's the. Um, dough in there and it's gone through <coughs> it's gone through the preheat stage the kneading stage now it's in the rising stage then it will bake and then keep warm so technically if I wanted to take this out and let it rise elsewhere then put another batch in to knead then I could do that so that gives you more gives you more options in terms of being able to make more at a time because here it's still got one hour 45 minutes left so now we are going through the um, rising process or finish rising and it's going to be in there and the heat will get it to rise even further and also to uh, cook and brown so that should be quite nice to see it working so as you can see it's gone through the preheat kneading stages the rising stage and now it's baking then it will go to the keep warm Process. And it's got 16 minutes left so, on the clock. Let's see how it turns out when it's all done. This is the final product. And it was, um, it was softer because it wasn't strong flour, so it wasn't as compacted together. But still tasted good. So you can see how sort of soft and fluffy it is. And this is the bread that I made earlier with the wholemeal flour. And this is what I usually make. So it's yummy. Subscribe to a producer's life in Uganda.